Hello and welcome back to Core Finance in association with the Next Exchange. I'm joined by Tom Ilube, who is the Chief Executive of Crossword Cyber Security. Thank you very much for coming on to the show today. Thank you. Well, let's start off. Um, I think the clue is probably in the name, but can you give our, our viewers just a brief overview of uh, what Crossword Cyber Securities is as a company, where you operate, and uh, what, what you do? Yeah. Crossword is a cybersecurity company that does technology transfer from universities to the commercial world, specifically focused on cybersecurity intellectual property. Uh, we're based in Richmond um, and we work primarily in the UK but increasingly uh, starting to look overseas as well. And so you're, you're almost a bridge between the, 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 intellect, the intellectual property, as, as you right say, yeah. at, at the universities and the commercial world. Yeah. So you, you sit between, so you have, one assumes, an understanding of, of both camps yes. and, you, and you can bridge that gap and bring the two together to bring the great Absolutely. ideas coming out of UK and now globally, as you say, universities to yeah. actually bring them to market. Absolutely, yes. yeah. So we look back over the last 10 years or so and there's there's been about 850 million, 840 million pounds of investment mm -hmm. in cybersecurity research projects in universities in UK and across Europe. Hundreds of projects have been done and a lot of that fascinating intellectual property is just sitting in the universities. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been exploited in the commercial world. So our job is to go hunting through the universities, find the intellectual property that's most interesting and most applicable to the commercial world and then work with the university to get it out and get it into the commercial world. So, Tom, um, with regards to the, the universities, in, in what state is that mm. intellectual property at? Is it, is it academic papers, mm. or do they have kind of worked examples that you can actually see yeah. the opportunity and value? Yeah, I mean, it varies by university and by project. Often with cybersecurity, it'll be an academic paper. So mm -hmm. you'll go and see a professor and say, I hear you've made some breakthrough in this area, can I have a look at it? And they say, oh yes, and give you a paper full of equations and you think, gosh. <laughs> and then you have to take that, understand it and turn it into a software product that you can take to market. Sometimes they would have developed it into a sort of prototype, a bit of software that proves the concept as it were, but you still have to pretty much rewrite it. If it's a hardware solution, then there might actually be something that you can kind of touch and feel. But we tend to focus on software related mm -hmm. solutions. And when you're taking that software and, and sometimes that tangible hardware, mm -hmm. How are you then packaging that up and, and, and presenting it to the commercial market? Yeah. So earlier in my career, I was a chief information officer of mm -hmm. a uh, FTSE 250 bank at the time, Egg. So I've mm -hmm. got a very good understanding of what it's like sitting in an end user environment and trying to figure out what solutions you need. Uh, and a lot of the folk in, in our company are ex commercial, military uh, folk who really understand what the end user mm -hmm. needs. So we're looking at these ideas coming out of university through that lens and thinking about what sort of product do we need to turn them into. For example, one of our products, Rizikan, is about uh, risk assessment, uh, so an organisation assessing risk. But what we realised is that the important thing for organisations today is to assess the risk of the hundreds if not thousands of suppliers mm -hmm. that provide services to them because you can be attacked from a cybersecurity point of view through one of those suppliers. So Rizikan helps an organisation assess the risk of hundreds or thousands of suppliers and under new legislation coming in mm -hmm. that's an increasingly important thing to do. Now it's because we've sat in those shoes we can see that intellectual property being applicable from that perspective. And you, you've touched on uh, legislation coming in yeah. and there, there's now a responsibility for I think pretty much all UK companies to, yeah. to report cyber attacks within a timely manner. Yeah. With that in mind and the increased amount of, certainly in the, in the headlines and newspapers, mm. not a week goes by when we don't see a major institution or corporation undergoing a cyber attack. Mm. With all that in mind, how is the cyber security landscape panning out and mm. what part do you feel that uh, Crossword Cybersecurity as a company will, will play in yeah. that? I think 
The cybersecurity landscape evolves continuously. Mm -hmm. So one of the challenges with cybersecurity is that you can't stay still. You know, you can never have the one product uh, that will be the solution for 20 years. It has to keep evolving. And therefore, when I set up Crossword a few years ago, my thinking was I need to tap into a continuous rich stream of innovation that we can keep turning into products. And it turns out that the UK universities are doing amazing research work in this area, and they are really keen to get that work out into the commercial market. So that's where we sit. Be tapping into that stream of innovation mm -hmm. but the reason is that the bad guys are continuously innovating as well and you need to keep up with them. Mm -hmm. And you, you mentioned a, a rich stream of innovation at the other end with, with the mm -hmm. clients. Is, yeah. is, is there a rich stream of, of revenue and how is that structured? Is that through a license based scheme with, yeah. with your end user? Yeah, so increasingly clients like to see software as a service. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they will still look at licenses, but often what clients want is just a solution that they can buy into and they'll scale up if they need to. That suits the likes of us because we want a constant revenue stream. When I look at intellectual property in universities, what I'm looking for is could this intellectual property be built into a solution that can be provided across the UK and across the world as a service mm -hmm. to la a large number of companies that will pay on an ongoing uh, basis? Now, in order to do that, you need to keep it up to date and refreshed and so forth, but increasingly that's what companies are looking for. They are still spending a huge amount on cybersecurity. I mean, it, it, is a, it is a massively important area, and it's one of those areas that can't go down. You know, mm -hmm. you, you can't as a company say, well, this year we're going to substantially reduce our cybersecurity budget. <laughs> it's just it's just not going to happen. What what could happen is where is that money being spent? So is it being spent on denial of service solutions? Is it being spent on Internet of Things based solutions, the where the money is going moves around, but the budgets in cybersecurity are constantly uh, growing across uh, corporate life. And with regards to your end users, you, you mentioned your, your financial background. Yeah. Is it just finance, or are there other areas that are the looking at cybersecurity and, and looking yeah. at? the threat that that poses to, to their businesses. Yeah. I mean, yes, it, it is, it's a whole range of, of sectors. We tend to look at medium and large companies, um, but across a range of sectors. But finance is obviously a big area. Manufacturing is, uh, is a big area. Any organization that holds large amounts of data. Mm -hmm. I mentioned regulation earlier. The GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulation, that's coming in and will be implemented next year, puts increased demands on a whole range of organizations that hold personal data. Mm -hmm. And so we look at those organizations and say, what will they need in order to help them with this impending regulation? Anytime you have a market mm -hmm. where there's new regulation coming in that changes the landscape, you see a lot of innovation and a lot of new solutions are required. And uh, with regards to post-Brexit, I'm not going to mm. go into the politics of it, but um, technology and development have, have been, or hopefully will become, more of a cornerstone mm. of the UK economy. Do you see that as, a, a, as an opportunity for, for Crossword going forward? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, you know, as I said... Anytime there's large amounts of change, mm -hmm. it creates opportunity. Where there's regulatory change, that creates opportunity as well. So for the likes of us, almost whatever happens in a Brexit scenario opens up opportunities. Organisations are moving their uh, offices around, they're moving people around, they're changing systems, they're separating, they're merging, etc. All of that creates cybersecurity challenges that have to be addressed. And the UK is phenomenally good at cybersecurity. So from an export point of view generally, you know, we, we at Crossword, but also the sector as a whole, are very well set to take advantage of changes. And um, you're obviously on the next exchange. How has this helped you achieve what you've wanted to do thus far? And looking further down the line, where would you like to be in a few years' time? Where, where do you see Crossword as a company? 
So when I established Crossword, I decided we were going to be a listed company. Mm -hmm. uh, the next exchange works really well for us because we've been able to raise money there. Uh, it's given us credibility with some of our larger clients. We're very transparent. If you're doing business with a cybersecurity company, you want to know who's involved. You want to know, for example, our chairman is Sir Richard Dearlove, mm -hmm. the former head of MI6 and also chair of uh, University of London trustees. Um, so. People who do business with us can see the sort of organization that we are and the way in which we're growing, the way we run the company is absolutely you know, above board, very transparent and so forth, and that's really important to us. I think over time we'll grow as a company, we will need more capital over time, we'll need to be able to attract people, we'll need to be able to issue share options and, uh, and so forth. So you know, as a company, being listed in an environment that makes us work in a very structured and orderly way is, is an excellent thing. Well, fantastic. Well, uh, unfortunately, the threat of cyber attacks isn't going to go away uh, anytime soon, but that will hopefully create a lot, a lot more opportunities, I should say, for crossword cybersecurity. Tom, thank you very much for joining us here today. Thank you.